nice of you to uh, nice of you to join me today. I am currently with backpack, with sleeping bag, with um, tent, with a slimline selection of one camera body and one lens and some polarizers and a uh, tripod and I am near Oldswater never really been here well I haven't I haven't been here before and um, a lot nicer than the, I don't know what I was expecting it's just nicer and also it's beautifully frosty cold uh, with a slight wind today this afternoon before it gets dark to make a bit of distance set up the tent if I can grab some pictures of sunset on the way that would be excellent but my main aim is this whole week away I've wanted to do some camping and I haven't even just just the weather's been dreary or I've been staying in hotels but so this is the last chance to get some camping under my belt this week. Let's get cracking. <laughs> We've got a mountain to walk up. <sighs> I'm so out of shape for this. We got about half an hour before sunset wrong side of everything. I'm stuck between uh, two mountains. Uh, Old waters over there. Look at the clouds looking amazing. You can see in the distance there. The lights licking the top of the mountains there. But uh, I've got to keep going. I've got to get up around this mountain before I can see anything, which is a bit annoying. But hopefully we'll catch something. Oh, this is so glorious. Just look. Bowls water, sunny sunset in clouds lighting up. Tops of mountains being licked. 180 degree views. Snow capped mountains. Just beautiful, crazy beautiful. Have I got time to get a picture? I don't know. Um, I've been rushing. Plus, I've got a picture tent somewhere that isn't windy. I'll have a quick look for a photo, but. My priority needs to be setting up camp, really. Oh, man, this is nice. As the lights slowly lift the sky, priority now is setting up the camp for the night. It took me longer than I wanted to, to find somewhere suitable to pitch the tent, and by the time that had been done, it was really time for dinner and bed. The chance to shoot had been missed, but one of the benefits of camping somewhere with amazing views is the opportunity to shoot again in the morning. Good morning. It is 
cold, it is windy, it's overcast, but, but, that, you know, we're not going to end it there, because I think, views-wise, this is pretty impressive. Snow-capped mountains, we got some, what do you want to call them, waters, got my tent lit up. And just sunrise is half an hour away and I feel like I've got a nice composition I'm, I'm happy to change it depending how the light goes because it's so overcast and I feel like we will get a nice sunrise because it is where the cloud is over here is quite um, split you know you can see shards of light coming through so I feel that will add to the effect I spent a good few hours shooting this morning. I'd actually been up about two hours before sunrise, walking around, looking for compositions, shooting in the blue hour, with the lights of the town below twinkling away, and the lights I had left in my tent illuminating it for show. It hadn't been the sunrise I had hoped for though. Highly overcast skies really block the best light and colours from showing themselves in all their glory. But it didn't disappoint me though. I felt great satisfaction just knowing I was there trying, doing something I rarely get to do. I tried different compositions, shooting wide, zooming in close, long exposures, different filters, just experimenting, really. And as the morning went on and the sun rose higher, now and again rays of light managed to break through. Of the many images I took, only one really stood out. What can I say? This trip away has been pretty incredible been all over the show all over the show pretty much as far away as I can get up in the highlands of Scotland done a wild camp at night that was pretty epic I've just got some really nice shots I've just been exploring some beautiful places in Scotland and England and around the lakes and... ah sad for it to come to an end really as I make my way back down to my trusty van that's carried me around all these places and I've also slept in the back of it and... oh yes can't wait to get them heated seats going <laughs> Yes, hopefully you've enjoyed this journey as much as I have. It has now come to its conclusion, sadly. Back to the real life, back to shooting landscapes back down in the southeast. But I don't know, I think I've come away with a kind of an appreciation for the landscapes that I have to do. I feel like I've come away with an appreciation more for the area I live in that it's intimacy, uh, whereas there's just, it's, there's an overload of stuff to photograph <sighs> in Scotland and the lakes and so forth. So, I don't know, maybe uh, I feel like I'm gonna go back feeling refreshed rather than um, upset that I'm missing out. No, I feel it's, it's got its place, the lakes in Scotland. I feel like I wanna, uh, refine, refine my photography down, down on the Rodney Marsh and the southeast. 
But there we go, there we go. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that, all them shenanigans. Um, yeah, ciao for now.